Hi, for today's case, our patient's chief complaint is grinding and clenching at night with headaches in the morning. So we're gonna prescribe for her an Astron clear splint. And for this case, we're gonna take it through the digital workflow, scanning it with a 3M true definition camera. And without any traditional impressions, we can send it digitally and it just expedites the process and makes it a lot more comfortable for the patient. All right, for this case with the digital scan, since we are gonna scan the entire arch, we're utilizing the Avaclar Optrigate, which is helping to retract the lips and cheek. We're also utilizing a couple of dry angles to add additional isolation and, and uh, retraction. And before you start scanning, you want to ensure that you remove any excess saliva from the teeth surfaces. So we're gonna put a little bit of air to dry those off because any saliva and bubbles can be captured during the scans. Once the teeth surfaces are dry, the 3M scanner requires a light dusting of a contrast powder, which is titanium dioxide, and that just helps the system capture the data a lot more efficiently. So once a light application of the contrast spray is applied to the teeth, I'm gonna start off by capturing the upper right quadrant. I get most of the occlusal surfaces first. I work my way toward the distal and ensure I get the distal of number two in this case. And with digital scans, you do want to ensure that you take rotations toward the buckle, as I'm doing right now, and fill in the buckle data, and capturing any areas underneath the height of contour. Once I've captured the buckle, I'll rotate toward the lingual and ensure that these areas are captured as well. The working distance for the 3M system is about three to 17 millimeters. You can see in the center of the screen, the orange circle. That is an indicator for whether or not I'm in the correct depth of field. So I now have the upper right quadrant scanned in. And now I will transition on the anterior teeth to the upper left side. With the anteriors, it can be a little bit more tricky. If the system ever loses its place, you just return back to an area that it has already scanned. In that case, it's the upper right, starting on number five. And here I'm working on the linguals. With the anteriors, again, can be a little bit more difficult because the incisal edges are pretty thin. And so here it was able to transition well to the upper left quadrant. And I'll get all of the occlusal areas and lay this foundation on the upper left teeth. Traditional impressions can be a source of increased anxiety and discomfort for the patient. So digital impressions are a very nice application in the office for patients like that, that may have an increased gag reflex or may have had bad experiences with traditional impressions before. So we now have our completed maxillary model I want to evaluate and ensure that all of the critical areas for this case are captured. In this case, we have all of the occlusal areas, buccal and lingual. We'll go ahead and accept the file. The next step will be to repeat this process for the mandibular scans. All right, so we now have our completed scans. This is our maxillary arch and the mandibular arch to establish the opposing. And then we've captured the bite registration and how the two arches relate to each other. And so the next step is to complete the prescription. On the 3M TrueDef software, we're gonna first indicate the date that we would like the restoration or the prosthesis back, and then indicate the lab. If I were doing it chair side, a chair side restoration, I'd send to iOS, but in this case, I will send directly to Glidewell for the fabrication of the splint. And then I'll choose the type of restoration. And for this, I'm gonna choose models and appliances. And then under the notes, I'll just add a little note that I would like to have the Astron night guard. And the last step is just to sign it with your own pen. And it's just a couple of buttons and the case will be digitally submitted to the laboratory for fabrication.